I want to welcome and I want to thank two very important leaders of Europe, two very important voices of clarity and moral clarity and strength who came to support the State of Israel in this dark hour that we are faced with as our enemies has butchered and tortured and abducted and kidnapped so many Israeli citizens, innocent civilians. I want to welcome the Speaker, the President of the European Parliament, Roberta Metzola. I want to welcome the President of the European Commission, uh, Ursula von der Leyen, two great friends of the State of Israel and Jewish people, and two great fighters for um, morality, decency, and human rights well, uh, whose voices must be heard. We are in this very complicated and difficult challenge. We are faced with clear demands from the international community. Number one, we're demanding that the hostages be returned to Israel immediately with no conditions of any kind. Number two, we must eradicate Hamas and its infrastructure in order to be able to let the Palestinians in the region live decently. What is happening now in Gaza is that Hamas is stopping and blocking citizens, civilians in Gaza from moving out from the war zone. This is what they're doing. They're using civilians as human shields in order to protect their military intentions and their vile intentions. This is exactly the issue. After destroying their own electricity infrastructure, after destroying their own water infrastructure by missiles and attacks of their own, now they are also holding the citizens as hostages. I demand from the international community to be extremely crystal clear about demanding the immediate removal of the civilians to another area so that there will be, under international law, the ability to continue fight and defend the state of Israel, and number two, the immediate release of all hostages and return to Israel immediately. Thank you, and welcome, and thank you for your friendship. Thank you. Thank you. We stand with you. Uh, first of all, I would have liked the President to return to Israel under happier circumstances, but we came together, myself and, and the President of the Commission, to express mm. solidarity after the most heinous attacks that uh, your country has seen in generations. We have seen and witnessed. Uh, we went to Kfaratza, I went to Raim, and saw um, the attacks that took place and the most atrocious massacre. situation, massacre that we saw. A couple of points uh, from my end. You saw also the European Parliament having met and manifested its full solidarity with you and your people. We also said that Hamas is a terrorist organization. It does not represent the aspiration of the Palestinian people and therefore it must and we can stop Hamas. And I know that we can work together through the humanitarian consequences of what we are facing after this barbaric acts that we have seen. Thank you. Thank you very much for receiving us here. And indeed, we are friends of Israel. And when uh, a friend is under attack, we have to stand together. We stand by you. It was very important for us to come here today. Thank you very much for hosting us here. We have been um, this morning in the kibbutz Kfar Aza, and there are no words to describe what we have seen. The suffering of the people, the atrocious attacks of Hamas, this, these are acts of war. And therefore, Israel has the right to defend itself, and Israel has even the duty to defend and protect its people. I fully subscribe your call on Hamas to release all hostages immediately and to refrain completely from, take, from taking civilians as shields, um, which Hamas is constantly doing. Indeed, um, Hamas is a threat not only to Israel, but Hamas is also a threat to the Palestinian people. Um, and therefore, again, our call very loud and clearly, release the hostages and stop from taking people as human shields. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.